I'm getting ready to go camping and one of the things I like to do is make food up ahead of time. I'm making up a batch of chuck wagon beans. You start start off with by taking six strips of bacon, browning it up, one onion, and I like to uh, saute the onion in the bacon grease, and clean that all out. Then you brown up one pound of hamburger, chop up the bacon, and add that back into the hamburger with the onions. And then to this you would add a can of baked beans, kidney beans, butter beans, uh, some ketchup, Worcestershire sauce, brown sugar, and Colby cheese. Then you put it all in the oven to bake for one hour at 350 degrees. The uh, last three ingredients, the half cup of ketchup, three quarters cup of brown sugar, and Worcestershire sauce. I like to whisk them together. I prefer to use dark brown sugar instead of light brown sugar. Dark brown sugar gives a little more of a molasses taste. And depending on who I'm camping with, I may add in some things that are not on the recipe. For this one, I have added in a teaspoon of liquid smoke give it a little richer flavor. If I was camping with my sons I would add in a quarter cup of Jack Daniels. For the people who are worried about the alcohol this stuff has to bake for an hour at 350 degrees. The alcohol evaporates at 180 degrees so by the time you get around to eating it there's no alcohol left it's just the flavor of the Jack Daniels. But that would be for my sons since I'm camping with my grandsons, they get the liquid smoke. And that's what all the rest of the stuff looks like. That's what it all looks like when it's mixed together. Then you put it into a baking dish and bake it in the oven for an hour at 350 degrees. One thing about uh, equipment you buy. That uh, Corningware dish that belonged to my mother which means that dish is over 60 years old you buy good quality stuff take care of it it'll last a long time and when you're all done that's what it will look like and even my grandson believes they are delicious chuck wagon beans <laughs>